This multi-tip screwdriver set was part of my $3 toolbox haul. Several viewers seemed interested in this set, so I thought it'd be uh, interesting to clean up. I found a name on it. it says Roscoe. All right, see it? Roscoe. I'm interested in cleaning this up because I'm going to try to take this handle that's plastic and steel. I'm assuming some of that steel's rusted. I'm going to try to put this whole handle in Evaporust and see what the Evaporust does to the plastic. These are the tips I found in the box. These three tips seem to have slightly different ends than these four tips. Right? And even these four tips aren't exactly the same. See how the, the swage part's up close to the top there? And that's more in the center. And these ones here almost seem like they're bigger diameter and the swage part's down here more. I don't know if they're all to this handle. Um, I guess I'll clean them up and find out. My plan is to wire brush the swaged end and the Phillips tips. The rest I'm going to do with the belt sander. Here they are after the wire wheel. I got this end cleaned up pretty good. And I ended up doing the Phillips bits. I noticed that this Phillips bit, where is it? This one here. That one's got, it's got some damage. I haven't had much luck rejuvenating damaged Phillips bits. This might be a good candidate for some experimentation. My plan is to use my hand drill to uh, hold the tips to spin them while I sand them. And that's an 80 grit belt. Here's all the tips after sanding with the 80 grit belt. These two have a slightly different end and they're not, see if I can focus that, they're not 100% round. They were tricky to use in the drill. This one here I had to end up just holding to the belt. I'm still wondering with these two tips being so much different than these others, and even this tip being a little bit different than these four, if this isn't uh, actually a set or not. But we'll see. These tips are now ready for a uh, soak in the Evaporust. I want to give this handle a bath in some soapy water. I think it's covered with a lot of just powdered rust that'll come off with soap and water and a toothbrush. Let's see how it goes. Looks like it was like a yellow color, and maybe this end was, was painted black. We'll see what the Evaporos does to that, if it takes the black off or leaves it. All right, I'll rinse this off and then uh, into the Evaporos it goes. All right, into the magic sauce they go. All right, it's been overnight. Let's see how everything did. The plastic doesn't feel like it was affected by the evaporust. Okay, here's the parts uh, rinsed and dried off. I don't think the evaporust did anything bad to the plastic. It looks about like when it went in. But I like that I was able to get evaporust all into this 
steel spring part here. That would have been possible clean with brushes. The next step is to go through the grit, sanding these more and clean them up. But before I do that, I did find markings on two of these. This one says recess number one. That's the damaged Phillips tip. And this one says patent pending. I'm probably going to lose those markings as I sand, so I wanted to document it. I'm going to try some super fine steel wool on this handle. It's really not that bad. We'll see how it does. In the past, I've wet sanded these. I'm going to try something different this time. I feel like I can work the steel wool down into the grooves. See, down to the grooves, like rolled up in a in the right shape. Yeah, I can get into those grooves pretty good. That's a little tougher to do with sandpaper. And this little handle has so many grooves that maybe the steel will be the best. Just kind of squunch it in there. I think the steel wool did a decent job. Everything's pretty even. Yeah. That came out okay. The next step, Chuck and I are going to get out the flits. All right, Chuck, let's see how clear we can get this handle. This is just a piece of uh, recycled cotton t-shirt. I decided to do this by hand rather than use the Dremel. I didn't want to overheat the plastic. I'm going to roll up this rag and get in these grooves. It's looking pretty good. Alright Chuck, let's work on the rest of it. Well, Chuck, I think the flits did a, a pretty nice job. I mean, that came out really clear. You can almost read the word flits. Oh, there you go. You can sort of read the container through it. How cool is that, Chuck? I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to... I'm going to take a try at improving this damaged tip with a diamond file and do my best to hold this straight up and down and just try to follow, follow the angle. Now I suppose I could do this on the Dremel. I'm just scared if I do it on the Dremel, I'll get carried away. I guess the worst comes to worst. We can always turn this into a pokey thing. I think I improved it. I found this. This is the smallest Phillips I could find laying around. And it seems to... It seems to fit in that pretty good. So I don't think I'm going to do... Any more filing on it. We're going to call that good enough. I went over all the bits with the 120 grit belt and then all three grades of the conditioning belts. I think they came out pretty good. I mean, considering what I started with. This one. I wasn't able to remove every pit. There's some big pits in this one. Yeah. But they're definitely usable now. Chuck and I polished the bits with our flits. Okay, 
Here's the before and after transformation. I think the handle came out pretty nice. It's good to know the evaporust won't affect the plastic. I added a little black enamel at the base. I found a patent number on the handle. The patent was awarded to W.J. Cleary of the Cornwell and Patterson Company, Bridgeport, Connecticut. I found another patent assigned to the Cornwell and Patterson Company awarded to a W.F. Rosenberg in 1957. Roscoe brand screwdrivers were made by the Rosenberg brothers in New York. I bet W.F. was one of the brothers. The bits seem to fall into three categories. These two have sort of these squashed, squashed ends that aren't 100% round. And they... They're the ones that fit in the handle the worst. Like they'll go in, but they're a little, a little wobbly. Same thing, same thing with this one. It'll go in, but it's a little wobbly. This one is different than these and different than those. Yeah. That fits also. But it fits pretty sturdy. That doesn't wobble as much. These four, I think, maybe came with the handle. With this design, with the, the swage wings sort of in the middle of this, this part here. These fit in great. Feels real sturdy. Fits in nice and secure. All of them fit. All of them fit really well. See? Fits in there nice and secure. Just for completeness, I'm going to try them all for you. There you go. That one fits. And that one fits. All right. So I have a suspicion that the set was maybe this, and these bits maybe were to some other set. But they all work. So what do you think? I think I should give them a try. All right, let's give these things a try. I got the pokey thing first, and the pokey thing indeed pokes. The only trouble with the pokey thing, because it's kind of loose, if you put it any, into anything really soft and got it stuck, I could see you pulling the handle out. That's why I don't think it really matches this handle. All right, there's the pokey thing. Let's try the smallest screwdriver bit. That's the smallest screwdriver bit. Let's see how she does. Seems to work okay. The next screwdriver bit. That's the next screwdriver bit. Seems to work good. All right. And this is the biggest flat screwdriver. Okay. Works good. All right, the smallest the smallest Phillips. I'm going to say we're going to go with this one's the smallest. All right. Again, this is the one that's a little wobbly in there. But, you know, plenty of torque. Tighten that right in. Right out. One handed. No problem. Okay. Let's go to medium. I'm calling that the medium. This is the one I had to doctor the tip a little with the diamond file. Let's see how that works. Oh, yeah, no problem. I'm actually putting a good bit of torque on that. It works okay. And then the biggest Phillips is that one. All right. Again, I'm putting plenty of torque on that. The handle's not slipping or anything. Seems to work okay. All right. Seems like the Roscoe works. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.